Ephesians 5.31 For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. Anthony, the next time I see you, we will almost be married. I have been waiting for this day for so long, and I absolutely cannot wait to marry you. first page of the book here. I will be marrying you one year from today and I want I want you to know that I will be praying for you in our marriage every single day until then. I plan to write out each of these prayers so you can look back and see how God has answered them. You are the love of my life and I know that with Christ at the center of our marriage we will live happily ever after. I love you more than I can ever explain. You are perfect. Your family is perfect. <laughs> and I will do everything in my power to be the perfect husband for you. <laughs> when looking back and remembering all the good times I've had in my life, there aren't very many memories I've had without you there by my side. Love you and I thank you for being the man you are today. Thank you for being my encourager and my comforter. Thank you for dreaming big with me, but also for bringing me back to reality <laughs> when my hopes get too high. There's no set of words that can ever describe the positive changes you've made in my life. And I thank God every day for the blessing, uh, for blessing me with someone like you. Kelsey, you are the girl of my dreams. You are my cure, you are my love. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together to celebrate marriage today. And it is a grand occasion, one in which our, our Savior celebrated, one in which God gave us as a gift. And so as we gather, we celebrate love as it is given to us by our Father God. Spires, every time I see you, stars when you walk in the room. I will always fight for you. I will always support you in all that you do. I will always be the set of ears when you need to vent to. I promise to be by your side and on your side. Every day, through every trial, every accomplishment, and every dream we reach together, knowing that all we have and all we do is a true gift from God. So let's start a fire. I now pronounce you that you are husband and wife. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Anthony, you may now kiss your bride. It's hard to find. You don't ever have to wonder winter 
slumber to the summertime I'm always on your side You met an amazing girl and she fits you perfectly. I've never seen two people so dedicated to being healthy and fit. <laughs> They're pretty ridiculous, but whatever. We were talking and my mom was like, do you think you're gonna marry him and everything like that? She said, of course I am. She knew deep down that you were the one for her. Let's start a fire, I wanna keep you warm Come on and strike up the choir Throw open all the doors Oh, I've looked low You know, that relationship that you have, it's really special And I'm just so thankful that Kelsey, um, being my twin sister, can find that special person And um, I just have no doubt in my mind um, that you guys will just be the best couple and, and always there for each other. Darling, let's start a fire. I want to keep you warm. Come on and strike up. And the love that you have for each other, it's really amazing and a great example for everyone, everyone here, to see how you've grown together and how you'll continue to grow in love for each other. So if everyone put up your glass, salute to Anthony and Kelsey. And you are mine. Now that I am yours. And you are mine. Now that I am yours. And you are mine.